What's up, everybody? I want to give you another economic stimulus update for today. As you know from my video yesterday, President Trump did say that he is giving a thumbs up for another economic stimulus. However, he did not give any details on exactly what it would look like and what will be inside of that package. I'm going to speak to a little bit about that today. Also, I want to speak to you about the stimulus grants for $1,000 that are taking place in the city of Chicago right now, as well as some of the IRS rules for the RMDs for some of those investors out there that have already taken their RMD for 2020 and would like to reconstitute it back to their IRA accounts. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about all of that coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I ask that you please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will get an update. Also, before you continue moving forward through this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let the thumbs rise, like this video, and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. A few things I wanna speak with you about. It's gonna be a little bit long, but I think it's very, very good and very important information. First off, let's talk about what's going on in the Midwest. Right now in the city of Chicago, if you did not receive your stimulus check or for whatever reason you didn't qualify for a stimulus check under the CARES Act, you are not left out. If you are a resident in the Midwest, in the city of Chicago, in the greater Chicago land area, there is something that you can do. And I'm going to read to you the information that was provided. There are about 20 Chicago organizations that you can reach out to and apply for a $1,000 grant grant meaning you don't have to pay it back it's not a loan it's not any strings attached to it but you can apply for this grant to receive one thousand dollars it is designed to provide assistance for families that were not included in the cares act so a lot of people that were left out of cares act may have been because you had a mixed family or it may have been an undocumented worker or anything. There's some little gray areas in there that left a lot of people out of the CARES Act and not able to receive it. So what has taken place as of right now, and this started on this past Monday, is that through um, 20 organizations around the greater Chicagoland area, you can apply for a thousand dollar grant. And this is the Chicago Resiliency Fund, which is created by a Pilsen-based nonprofit, The Resurrection Project, in partnership with the city. They're providing cash assistance to people who are undocumented, mixed status families, and people experiencing homelessness and more. So there are some other things in there that you can um, qualify um, for, or that can help qualify you to receive this if you are in that area. The program was funded by $4 million of a private donation and $1 million um, from the Open Society Foundation. Many people, including undocumented immigrants and mixed status families, were left out of the federal stimulus package issued earlier this year. So this is what's driving this. Chicago residents with an income less than 300% of the poverty level who did not receive a federal stimulus check are eligible for the $1,000 grants. Now, there are Again, like I mentioned, 20 different organizations that you can reach out to in and around the Chicago area. Um, and I'll provide the phone number, the name of the organization, and whether the organization um, will be able to accept calls from Spanish callers, Korean callers, um, even some with, that speak Hindu and different languages out there. I'll go ahead and specify that and break all that down in the description of this video below. So make sure you look at the description of this video it also gives you the times um, of where these offices are open. Most of them are open Monday through Friday. Some of them are, have exceptions and they're only open Monday through Thursday or open Tuesday and Thursday and there's spe specified hours for each one of them. But I would suggest that everyone that lives in that area, um, just to give it a call, give it a try. If you, were, if you didn't qualify for the first round of the economic stimulus, this could be something that could be very, very fruitful and beneficial to you. 
The next thing I want to talk about is the rollover scenario for IRA. So um, many investors know that with the CARES Act, there was a provision that provided for you not to have to take your RMD for the year of 2020. I know that was a lot that I just said there, but essentially, if you are above the age 70 and a half, as it currently was when you started taking the RMD last year, you would be required to take that required minimum distribution again from your IRA or from any qualified um, beneficial account. That could be your 401k, 403b, any of those retirement plans. As of 2020, and, and in light of everything that's going on with the pandemic, the IRS has said you do not have to take your required minimum distribution. But what happens to those people that already took it in the first quarter of this year. You know, a lot of people have it scheduled. I have some clients that have it scheduled to go to different charities at the same time every year they come out of their account. So what happens if you've already taken your RMD for this year and want to go back and say, hey, if I don't have to take it, I want to put it back in so I don't get the tax penalty from it. So there was a deadline for that, but that deadline has been extended by the IRS. So something that they announced on yesterday is that those who already took the required minimum distribution in 2020 for certain um, retirement accounts now have the opportunity to roll those funds back into the retirement account under the CARES Act RMD waiver for 2020. The 60 day rollover period for any RMDs already taken this year has been extended to August 31st 2020. This gives taxpayers time to take advantage of this opportunity. So previously the deadline um, had already passed, but now if you've already taken out that RMD this year and you had second thoughts and now you want to get it back in there, if it's been within a 60 day period, you have the opportunity to go ahead and reconstitute those funds back into your IRA and abate the tax penalty from taking it out um, this year. Now, going forward in 2021, you more than likely are going to get back on track and going to be taking out the RMDs at that time. A further says the CARES Act enabled any taxpayer with an RMD due in 2020 from a defined contribution retirement plan that's including a 401k, 403b, or an IRA to skip those RMDs this year. This includes anyone who turned age 70 and a half in 2019 and who would have had taken their first RMD April 1st, 2020. This waiver, however, does not apply to defined benefit plans. So this update and includes also those that have an IIRA or the inherited IRA from a beneficiary as well. It says the notice provides two sample amendments that employers may adopt to give plan participants and beneficiaries whose RMDs are waived a choice as to whether or not to receive the waived RMD. If you're one of those people out there that still has a 401k or 403b with your old employer and you're retired right now and um, you're not taking um, your RMD or you're about to take your RMD or start to take your RMD or anything like that, please reach out to that employer. Please reach out to that employer plan immediately to see what your options are. Typically what takes place is most employer uh, sponsored plans if you're still with them and you of and you are of the RMD stage or age I should say they will automatically send that payment out to you and withhold the taxes at the highest level when they do that in many cases that's not the true wishes or something that you really would want to do um, there could be a philanthropic goal that you may want to satisfy with that RMD for any given particular year additionally if you do fall into that category you need help with rolling any of those funds from a retirement account over to an IRA, please reach out to me directly. That's what my firm does and that's how we operate and we help many people just like you roll over 401ks, 403bs to an IRA. It is a very seamless process. There's no cost to do it and it helps you stay in control of your assets so that you won't have any hiccups when it comes RMD time. So lastly, I want to speak to you about the update in the video from yesterday. So Trump says that he is open to more stimulus checks, but he did not give a timeline other than he says in the next several weeks, we're going to discuss it or something's going to happen. Yeah, but it was kind of sketchy. It really didn't spell out exactly what everyone is looking for in there. 
So if you read through the lines and you sift through all the data, you can kind of piece together what a timeline is. And although he said in the next couple of weeks, he's gonna start producing something, more realistically, if we're looking at things, it's more than likely gonna be towards the mid to latter part of July, when Congress is actually gonna to come together and start to have solid negotiations about this. Um, we already know that the HEROES Act is already in place and we already know how the Senate feels about the HEROES Act right now. So at the earliest, we're thinking mid-July to late July that Congress is going to move forward with some sort of plan. Now the good thing about a second stimulus, um, if and when it is passed, is that majority of everyone out there, at least 159 million people that already received the stimulus payment under the CARES Act, your information is already on file with the IRS. So there is nothing additional that you should need to do. Need to do. We never know, We not. it's not a perfect system. So essentially, if a economic stimulus round two is passed in mid July, late July, and payments are disseminated within the following two to three weeks after that, you should get your payment right away. It shouldn't be a long drawn out period and there shouldn't be promises made that all payments will be out within the next 20 weeks. That should just not happen. So I encourage you, if you're one of the few that haven't received it or if you did receive it and it came through the mail and you got a paper check in the mail, I would encourage you to really try to take advantage of using that non-filers IRS tool. Um, as I mentioned before, it has reopened and a lot of people that haven't um, receive their stimulus payment are able to go in there now up until October the 15th of this year, enter your information, enter your direct deposit information and still receive your economic stimulus payment. If it were me, I would want them to have all of my information now, just in case another stimulus payment is coming out so that it won't be so convoluted and you'll have to wait and have to look at a whole bunch of YouTube videos telling you what you need to do. Just saying. So. Get that information updated as soon as possible. It looks like if another stimulus pa package is passed, hopefully payments and checks will be received in August, early August. Um, hopefully that'll be a good thing before everyone goes back to school. Hopefully kids still go back to school. I know it's been tough for me being home, having all my rugrats running around the house, especially the one I'm looking at right now across the other side of this camera. But most importantly, make sure you get all your information updated and everything submitted that you need to to the IRS so that they can have your most current information as of now. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I upload a new video. And lastly, before you leave, please like and share this video so that you can get an update, or most likely so you can um, increase the financial literacy of our globe. I just messed up when I'm saying that because there's somebody behind the camera talking. Come here real quick. And I'm gonna show you who's behind the camera mimicking me, making me mess up. I'm gonna introduce everyone. To my oldest son, this is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. the third. Say hi, YouTube hi. family. Hi. Hi. So he was helping me, directing me from behind the camera, and he's the one that's making me mess up. <laughs> so tell everyone to subscribe. Subscribe, please. And like and share this video. Like and share this video. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.